You know what gets me about intellectual jobs such as doctors and attorneys and such? It's the fact that what they either tell you is complete bollocks or what they tell you is shit you already knew. And unfortunately, as friendly and as nice as this lawyer was, he told me shit I already knew. Essentially, he said that yes, you do have a case against moderators. Uh, when they make a terms of service, that's a virtual contract. When you go to apply for a job, they too have a terms of service. And um, when you apply for the job, you sign the contract much in the same way you apply for a job in real life. So one is as good as the other, right? And the problem is, see, employers don't ban you in shit because they know better. They know better that they're legally binding contract applies just as much to them as to anybody else. Whereas internet moderators are fucking stupid and don't realize that and think they're above the law and above everybody else. So anytime a moderator bans you, they have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you were breaking the contract before them. Because if at any time they broke the contract, they are liable. Period doesn't have to be you necessarily uh you know like when they ban me they might sometimes be able to twist around the terms of service to benefit them but they cannot benefit it against them all the time in other words they've broken their own terms of service at some point in time therefore if let's say five people were to take these guys to court at some point they're going to have to admit fraud they're going to have to admit liability they're going to have to admit a breach in their own contract and thus everything they say and do is illegitimate now mind you are people going to do this probably not because people like their authority people like being controlled people like being raped so don't fucking tell me about the government taking your privacy don't fucking tell me about CISPA or ACTA or anything else because if you're willing to deal with it from some punk ass little teenager behind a computer you should be able to deal with it from a bunch of professional scumbags who know what the fuck they're doing and actually abuse tyranny in the right ways and abuse tyranny in a proficient way but you're not gonna do that because you're fucking stupid too and I want to just go out there and say that you have the right to shoot these people you have Jim Prophet's permission to fucking take a gun and fucking blow David Icke's brains out or anyone from Godlike Productions or anything like that because as far as I'm concerned, the stand your ground law, if it can excuse some guy, some racist twat, going out there and shooting an unarmed black kid, and nobody knows what to do, their hands are up in the air, and they just don't care, then they can fucking excuse that law to shoot these fucking bastards that walk all over you, and treat you like shit, and undermine you at every turn. They want to affect your life in a negative way. They intentionally want to hurt you, therefore stand your fucking ground that's all I'm saying and now I have lawyers backing me up on it I know the fucking law I have time to know the law I make myself have time to know the law I know the ins and outs of everything I know what people are saying I know what people are doing I probably know what you the viewer are doing right now I make it my business to know I surveillance a lot of people a lot of time so don't fuck with me. Don't act like you know more than me and don't like you don't act like you're better than me. I could fucking ruin your life at any moment. Don't screw with me. Stee, moot, whatever. So, that's all I have to say.